Welcome to Chandwell. My name's Michael, and I'm building this N-scale model of a rundown West Yorkshire town, set in 1993. There are a lot of roofs in Chandwell. We have simple pitched roofs. Roofs with dormers, of various shapes. Curved roofs. Roofs that butt up to a cylindrical tower. Mansard roofs. And various hipped roofs. I've made videos before of a very simple technique to make perfect hipped roofs without using a calculator, computer or anything more complex than a ruler and a pencil. That video is linked to at the end of this video, but this technique didn't work when I needed to make this roof for the top of my model of Bradford Cathedral. This 1960s roof on top of the cathedral's sanctuary extension is a hipped roof comprising one half of a hexagon. There are three faces at three different angles, rather than just the one flat hipped part sloping inwards. My simple no maths technique didn't quite work for this one, but I still managed to get these three triangles to perfectly slot into place on the very first try. Let's take a quick look and see how I did it, once again using no complicated mathematics or anything to tax me after a long day at work. I used the free drawing application Inkscape to draw this roof, because that's what I always use. But you'll soon see that you could use the same technique using just a pencil, ruler and a pair of compasses, if these are more your thing. So before we look at the actual cathedral roof, let's go right back to basics and look at a really simple gable-ended house. Here we are, a simple grey house with a red and orange roof. If we were to make this from card, we'd need a section of roof that needs to run from the ridge down to the gutter. The rectangle on the plan view is far too small. The rectangle from the elevation is also too small. I hope this is completely obvious. The roof is sloped, so neither the plan nor the elevation shows it at its true height. If we measure the gable slope, we see it is 44.91mm. So, our rectangle needs to be 44.91mm tall. We only need to change its height. The width is already correct. I'm using Inkscape here, but you can do this with a ruler and a pencil if you want to. So here, the rectangle is now 44.91mm tall. And that fits the slope perfectly. I hope that's obvious. But I showed it because every technique in this video is exactly the same. We're going to measure something, and then stretch the height of the shape that you're working on without adjusting its width. Let's look at the cathedral roof. Here's the east elevation. If we make that into one shape, you can see it's not that different from the simple house gable we saw before. Let's take a piece of roof from the cathedral and do the same as we did on the house. As with the house, it's not tall enough to meet the gable. And the one from the elevation certainly isn't. So let's measure how tall they do need to be. 21.95mm. Choose the shape from the plan and let's increase the height of it. Notice how that angle on the right changes as we stretch the shape. Don't worry about that though, we can set the height exactly to 21.95mm by typing it into the box. A perfect fit. Let's do the same for the orange part. And that's all we need to do for these two parts. The angled bit at the end looks after itself, you don't need to even think about it. We've kept all the horizontal points in the same place, we've just moved the vertical ones to stretch the shape, and you can do that with a pencil and a ruler, you don't need to use Inkscape. Let's do the triangles. It's much easier if we work on triangles with the gutter part horizontal. Let's get them rotated. There we are. So let's look at the blue triangle. It fits between the red and green shapes. Let's focus on how it joins to the red one, because we've already done that bit. Like the house roof before, the blue triangle is not tall enough to meet the red part. It needs to be taller, but we can't just drag it to fit because it makes the other angle incorrect and your pieces won't fit once you print and cut the triangles. Let's measure the length of the line that we want the triangle to join onto. 22.55mm How do we make this side of the triangle 22.55mm long, whilst keeping the length of the other side just right to meet the green triangle later on? The secret is a circle. You can use a pair of compasses for this on a piece of paper, but I'm drawing a circle in Inkscape. Let's make it 22.55mm radius, multiplied by 2, that makes it a circle with a 45.1mm diameter. 
and a 22.55mm radius. Now, we know the bottom left point of the blue triangle joins the red shape. Let's place that point of the triangle in the centre of the circle. And now, just as with the elements we've already done, we simply need to stretch the triangle to make it taller. Do not move it left or right, we're only moving it up. If you're doing it with pencil and the paper, just draw a straight line perpendicular to the base of the triangle. But here in Inkscape, we're going to hold control to keep it from moving to the side. So because one point is in the circle's centre, as soon as the point we are moving snaps to the circle's edge, we know that that line is the right length, it's the radius of the circle. We can try it by putting it against the red bit. Perfect fit. Let's do the same with the yellow one. Perfect fit. So how do we get the green one to the right size to fill the gap? It needs to butt up against the right edge of the blue triangle, so let's measure that. 25.16mm. Let's make a circle with a radius of 25.16mm. Pop the triangle in the centre. Stretch it. Done. Perfect fit. That's all there is to it. So what have we done? Well, we've measured the length of the gable. We've stretched the height of the roof shape to that measurement. We've measured the length of the edge that the triangle should match. We drew a circle with that radius. We put the triangle point in the centre of the circle and then stretched it until the top point meets the edge of the circle. We measured the length of the inner edge of the previous triangle. We drew a circle with that radius and we stretched that triangle until its tip met the edge of the circle. Finally, we printed it out. We stuck it to half millimetre card. We cut it out and the triangles went into place with perfection. First try. Here's a look at my No Maths Hipped Roof video which is full of more roof based tips and tricks. Watch out next week when there will be a video showing the making of this sanctuary part of the cathedral, along with some fascinating insights from Bradford Cathedral's Director of Education and Visitors, Maggie Myers. Until then then, thanks for watching this video, take care, and I'll see you next time.